think, of course, I want to go to that pro club. Like, bruv, like, this is an opportunity again. Bonjour. Guten Tag. What's up, eh? What's up, eh? What, what, what's up, bruv? When you believe everything is possible. Run up! Second match of the season, so obviously I want to be prepared. And today's session is going to be not too light, as I really feel comfortable that my fitness is improving day by day. So today I want to focus on agility because I need to work on my agility, and also, and also, that's what I'm talking about, mate. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, no one is gonna say, look, you're not allowed to play here or something else because normally there are two goals. Normally there are two goals, but on one goal, the net is taken off. So that's how you can shoot. Like it's, it would be a normal goal, even that it's a bit weird, but goal is goal. So that's why let's get a good session in and I'm sweating already because I did a little run already because I jogged to that pitch like for 20 minutes like approximately but enough talking let's get this session in let's get this session in and also there are some beautiful walls where I can practice again on my first touch and do some shooting drills so I'm gonna enjoy that today I'm gonna enjoy that today back to the grind mate back to the grind let's starting off this session with some simple juggles and today's training session i really wanted to focus on my agility and as a six foot six guy i need to work on my agility and for my height i think i have quite quick feet but i still need to to improve on that to be sharp on the pitch to be agile to be able to change my directions like quick as possible and that's what i really need to work on and because i do those kind of drills since years i think my my feet my my quick steps are like very quick i think for my height and because the match tomorrow is in the evening kick off at 7 45 so i did this drill in the morning so i had more than more than 30 hours to recover so that's why i did this kind of drill because normally if the match would be at three o'clock i think i wouldn't do this kind of intense training session before this match And then back to the wall to improve my first touch and for me my first touch need to be on point because even that in the match i don't receive that many like balls on the on the ground on the floor because unfortunately in our league or in general english football non-league is a bit more about long balls kicking the ball like playing direct direct football so it's a long time in the air but with this wall because it's high you can you can throw the ball against the wall and try to bring it down with your chest like I did because I need to work on that as well to put my body across to just be physical to use my strength to hold back defenders and just bring the ball down
so and this time i try to shoot a bit more game realistic because you have a goal and i really enjoyed that and i really feel that my shooting is getting better and better because sometimes it's not about really shooting with power it's about the technique as well so it's a bit of a combination because recently i just saw an interview of cristiano ronaldo how he explains how he shoots and everything but each day i'm improving each day because football this whole journey is not about a sprint it's a marathon so we need to keep going keep working keep working working and working until we get there So after training, this is my meal, potato wedges with some salad, cucumber, um, pepper, onions, um, iceberg salad, and some onions and eggs. I really feel so comfortable as I'm getting fitter and fitter, like my body just gets used to it. And as Gilberto told me that once you do something your body needs approximately three weeks to adapt like 21 days if you are a smoker and you want to stop to smoke you need to try to do it like for at least three weeks so your body get used to it and either like those kind of training agility shooting everything your body needs like approximately three weeks to adapt to it so when you do something for three weeks then it's gonna be a habit and I definitely need to make it as a habit to become better. <laughs> so easy is that. But there are some really exciting news. Some amazing news. But I need to think about it. But let's first enjoy this meal. Sometimes I really think the things that happen to me are just crazy. And if they would be written in a script like nah this is this is impossible because what happened is that the agent who got me the opportunity to train with that pro club league two club that i had i think three training sessions with them he actually got back to me today and because he always said brendan with me i don't like to talk that much and with me it can happen i called you and you need to go for a trial tomorrow the next day something like that and he actually saw my first game that i played and he gave me that advice that i just need to use my body a bit stronger because that's how it is long balls that's non-league football long balls try to get those long balls somehow down try to link up with my teammates and that's what he told me because i think his knowledge is is quite good because he has many many players under his his list or in his list that he manages but what actually happened is that he got me a pro club trial so i have the opportunity to train with a pro club but it's gonna be next week but next week our team has matches as well so i had to choose do i want to play matches or do i go to that pro club trial when i'm really honest to myself and it was one of the hardest decisions that i had to make i think of course i want to go to that pro club like bruv like this is an opportunity again pro contract in front of my nose and how many times did we had that in season one i went to sweden like here in England, but I got injured with Torquay United. Like, I mean, this is the best thing that could ever happen to me. But, but the difference is because it's not about sometimes the opportunities. It's about like, I can't really explain it. Do I feel ready? If I go to that pro club trial, do I think they're going to take me? And this is the question that I ask myself because I told him first that I'm, I'm going to think about it. And, and I told him first that, of course, I want to go and everything. And he sent me the details. But I thought about it. And probably some of you might think I'm crazy. Why did I do this? Blah, blah, blah. But I actually told him that, like, 
I won't go. I won't go because at that moment, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I want to make things right. And I need to really make the decision, okay, if I go, am I, am I really ready for it? Am I good enough for that? And to be honest, right now, I'm not good enough. And that's the fact. Right now, I'm not good enough to be a pro. Because whole preseason, I played maybe three matches. And now I just played like one match. With this, like, I need more matches. I need more matches. I need more game time. And that's how my confidence is going to be bigger. My, my abilities and everything. Because I don't want to go again to that pro club. And then hearing again, no, you're not good enough. Like, nah, you're not that type of player we're looking for. This kind of things, nah. So when I go the next time to a pro club trial, I need to be ready. And I need to say to myself, Brendan, are you ready? Yes, you are. But right now, I'm not ready. Right now, I'm not ready. And I told him that. So he said, okay, because the club needs a striker, the type of player that I am, a tall, centre-forward, target man. And that's what I need. But I told them to give me more time because I need to play matches. I need to play matches because right now I'm not ready yet. And I'm really praying that this is the right decision that I'm going to make because there's always this question, okay, but Brendan, what if you would go? So that's why I just rely on God because you need to trust in God and I rely on God. And I just pray that if really God wants me to be there, 1000%, there's going to be another opportunity where I can go. But right now, I'm not ready yet. So I turned down a pro club trial. Like, it's not easy, but I don't feel ready yet. And that's it. So that's why just looking forward to my match tomorrow, because we have a match tomorrow and hopefully we're going to win that. And that's it. And I asked for a cameraman on my Instagram, but it looks like no one is available. This is crazy. With me, the grind with cameraman is just another level. I mean, to re simply record a match, it should be the easiest thing. But as I don't have a father or a mother who can come to my match and record my match or something, like, bruv, it's different, but I try my best. Maybe I set my myself, my own camera, my phone. I take my phone with my camera stand and then somehow, hopefully it's going to come. But I need to have an early night's sleep because tomorrow, big match, focusing in that scene. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button now. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is Possible. So team Brandao, mm. I'll see you tomorrow.